Welcome to Sepper's Bunk Hall. 200 feet deep, safe from government control. Safe from them prying NSAIs. Safe from any government intrusion. They don't know where I'm at. They have no idea that I'm here watching them for you. And uh, I wanted to say a little bit of... Uh, what is that? What's going on? There's something going on. There's something definitely going on up top. Oh no. It's going on up. And police precinct 13, the most unlucky police department in the country. Oh, it's really going bad now. We have got to find out what's going on up in police precinct 13. Oh my goodness, cassette in it. Okay, okay. Every, okay, stop, stop, stop. Please shut that. Shut the alarms. Can you shut the... Th thank you. Oh, Lord have mercy. We got to run over uh, to uh, Police Precinct 13 to find out what the hell is going on. Excuse me, folks, but we have to go through this tunnel to get to PP13. Police Precinct 13 for short. I'm sorry, folks, but this is the tunnel that leads to PP13. Oh, I am so sorry, folks. You needed to step over that. But here we are in Police Precinct 13. You see, this isn't actually Police Precinct 13. I'm 31 feet below Police Precinct 13 because I had to get a little bit closer uh, so that I could put surveillance up in that place, right? This is the most unlucky police department in the country for a reason. <laughs> Oh my lord. See see what I mean? Police precinct 13, man. They're bad news. They just don't got it going on. But there's there's something happening up top. And I don't come out of my bunk hole often. I broke the hatch the other day because Carolina Auditor and I went auditing. And that's the only time I unseal my bunk hole is to audit with Carolina Auditor or other auditors. I I, I Come on, let's go auditing. Let's go assert our First Amendment right to film, to walk, to be free. Okay? So I'm here at Police Precinct 13 for a reason. Uh, I want to explain something to you. I encountered a, a police officer the other day, a young Marine, police, former Marine police officer. Once a Marine, you're always a Marine. <laughs> and I wanted to explain something to you. He was wearing a blue line flag on his uniform. And I want to show you this. This is for U.S. Code 8, respect for the flag, right? I want to read this to you just so that you get a good context of why I was so upset. Now, I started off nicely, but it says here, no disrespect should be shown to the flag of the United States of America. The, the flag should not be dipped to any person or thing. Regiment colors, state flags, or organizations, or institutional flags are to be dipped as marked of, marks of honor. Okay, let's get to the important part of this. G, the flag should never have placed upon it, listen up, or on any part of it, nor attached to it in any, in any, in any mark, insignia, letter, word, figure, design, picture, or drawing of any nature. Now, let's go down to the really important part of the code. Yes. 
Not my opinion. Let's go down to the pertinent, the real reason why. It's all a reason, but this is the specific part of the code that I was trying to get in part, get across to, tell the young Marine about. Section J, no part of the, the flag should ever be used as a costume or athletic uniform however a flag patch may be affixed to the uniform of a military personnel fireman policeman and a member of a patriotic organization the flag represents a living country and it, it in itself considered a living thing therefore the lapel flag pin, being a replica, should be worn on the left lapel near the heart. Get it? If it's a lapel, if it's a patch, if it's a patch, you wear it on your, it's a living thing. You understand that? Now, whenever a police officer adorns a flag, it should be over the heart or on the left shoulder. And this is why I got so upset at this young Marine. Once a Marine, always a Marine. And I hope you understand why I treated this young Marine as a recruit. He should know better. So please enjoy the video that I did yesterday morning uh, exercising both my rights and my fat body. I need to get in shape, and that's another reason why I audit. Enjoy the video, folks. Hey, morning, sir. What's going on, fellas? Going well. Hey. For the flag, not that. Okay. That's a desecration of the flag, and you're not allowed to wear or change the flag. I would like you to take that flag off, sir. I have many people that died for that flag. Are you talking about the thin blue line? Absolutely. I don't have anything against police, but that's a desecration of the flag, and I don't appreciate it. it ain't no different than stolen valor, brother. It upsets you, me greatly. Did you serve in the Marine Corps? I am a Marine. Okay. Well, I, I know. I said, did you serve in the Marine Corps? I right. am a Marine. Once a Marine, you're always a Marine. Uh, and that upsets me greatly. I'm sorry. Okay, I am a Marine too. That upsets me greatly. Then you should realize that that flag only needs, can be changed in a... It ain't no different than burning the flag and stepping on it, brother. Do you understand that? I mean, you have your opinion on... That ain't an opinion. It's a law. Okay. Now, I was nice and calm on my way walking when I come across these people. Okay. Now you upset me. These people didn't upset me because they don't, they're ignorant of the law. They don't realize I have a right to be out here you do. walking with my camera anywhere Absolutely. in public. Absolutely. That pisses me off, sir. Okay. And if that, if that right there is a Velcro, I would like for you to take that off, sir. I do not need to take it off. I, that, sir, is a desecration of the flag. Uh, Nobody has the right to change it, including you. That is your opinion, sir. That's not an opinion. That's a law. If you are upset about it, you can definitely call our department and file your complaint with them. But then you're a I, disgrace. But you, but you do have a right to be on the Then you're a disgrace. And once again, that's your opinion, sir. That flag can only be changed. That's it. The flag needs to stay red, white, and blue, not black and blue. I'm, I'm really disappointed in you, brother. And I'm calling you a brother because you are a man and you should know better. You got me really is upset. There, all right, is there because else because I, I have a lot of people that died for that flag. No, we're not okay. that flag. I understand. This flag and the United States flag. That's the, that's a disgrace, brother. That man's wearing a flag that my brothers died for. 
So why don't you mind your own business? I appreciate, I, I appreciate it, sir. We're good. I appreciate it. I'm making a complaint with you as a uh, as a fellow yeah. Marine. Right. I'm I, making a I, complaint I to you and looking you straight in the eyes and let, let, letting you know how okay. disappointed I am in you as a Marine. Okay. And you have every right to have your opinion on that. It's not an opinion. It you is. better know the fucking law. Okay. Do you understand that? Okay. Go research it in your car and you'll find out I'm 100% right. My so, brothers and sisters died for you not to wear that flag and desecrate it. Sir, why are you raising your voice? Because you don't know the law when it comes to changing the flag. Well, I'm just asking a simple question because I'm just talking to you civilly and you're raising That's your voice. That's bullshit because my blood boils whenever I see, have you ever walked on the Black Sands beaches of Iwo Jima and saw what them men went through? They wouldn't appreciate that. I have. I saw, I walked that stretch and I looked up at them fucking cliffs. For you to desecrate that flag is unconscionable. I ain't talking to you. He ain't respecting the flag. That is not respect. Respect is not burning the flag, not changing the flag, not stepping on the flag. That's respect. So mind your own business. Hey, sir, real quick. Let me, all right, let me, let me explain everything. Why I'm heated talking. because of that flag, right. dude. All right, and I apologize. I'm passionate about that flag. I was willing to risk my life for that flag. And so, and so was I. Obviously not. You're desecrating it. I still it. risk my life for this every day. You risk your life for that, not the American flag, because you ain't wearing the American flag anywhere. Nowhere on your body are you wearing an American flag. How dare you? How dare you? Why aren't you wearing a red, white, and blue, brother? Can you tell me that? Do you not respect the red, white, and blue? What about you? Do you wear a red, white, and blue? I don't see it on you. How dare you? I'm out of here. You're All pissing right. me the fuck off. All right, you have a good day, sir. Fucking asshole. You ain't no thing, dude. Okay. You, better, you better take that fucking thing off and wear an American flag. You understand me, son? You have a good day, sir. You don't get it, do you? You don't get it. That blue, that little fucking flag right there is more important to you than the people that died so you could wear that defaced piece of garbage. Once again, that is your opinion. It's law. Have a good day, sir.